Vespa GS160 Ito ang pinaka motor na malapit talaga sa akin At ito ang topic ng ating vlog ngayong araw na to Kung saan na in love sa akin Ang misis ko na si Fred At first I thought <laughs> Okay Ito po si Kuya Kim Hindi pangit, hindi rin pogi Sakto lang Kim San Mida Dito na si Jay Tarok at yung grupo niya, yung crew niya para kunan yung mga motor. Kuya Kim, good afternoon. Ay, hapon sa inyo. Kamusta, kamusta, Jay? Oh. <laughs> Eto na si Jay. Hello, guys. Ayun, si Jay, si Jay, matagal ko na kaibigan. Kaibigan ko for about that. Three generations of lady. Three, three generations of lady. Nung binata pa kami, magkaibigan kami. At nagkilala Lasa kami. Nasa si Kia pa. Si Kia pa. At oh. noon pa, nung 90s pa lamang, motor na talaga ang hilig namin. So, nandito si Jay, kasama nung crew niya. Ride PH. Ride PH. Ride PH. At uh, pag-uusapan namin itong mga motor na nakolekta ko through the years. Ayos! Okay. So, this is one of the most most collectible of all the okay. Ducatis. Okay. Okay. It's called the MH900E Evolution. Yes. Ito naman, because this was not very popular kasi nakatapa. Mm -hmm. At hindi lahat ng tao marunong magbutong ng mga ganun. Is ganda yan. Like is ganda. Is ganda. Is ganda. <laughs> <laughs> Nating init ang Ducati yan. Sinasa mga mo eh. It's a GT1000. This one's another rare Ducati. Paul Smart. Oh, Paul Smart. Oh, Paul Smart. Oh. oh, this is the R75 slash 5. Import ito galing si Japan. Okay. Ito naman ang R15 na to. Is it more rare than the slash 5, R75? Or? Yeah, the, R, the slash 2s are more rare okay. and older than the slash 5. Okay. Okay. This is my most aspirational bike. This is the CB1100. Okay. Okay. This is an improved version of the CB750, the CB11. Modern, modern, modern retro. Yeah. This is the latest Labretta. Tawag dito Labretta F. Okay. It's called the Donkin Vespa Handlebar. One of the rarest Vespas in the Philippines. If there's only one F, there's probably less than 10 of this. Ito naman ang Vespa GS160. There's a nice story behind it. First of all, the story personally, behind personally. Personally, it was my first vintage motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Kaya idol ka namin sa collection eh. Hindi, Brad, ito idol ko. <laughs> si Jay Tuat ako. Ayun ako. I've known him for 30 years. At nagkilala kami, nakaskutag kami pareho. Okay. Pareho pa kami ng ano niya. Oh. Oh, pareho kami ng singseg, pareho ng gumawa. He was a journalist then for GMA7. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was a politician. And his beat was Manila, NBI. Correct. Oh. Ah, dahil, Adalas kami magkape. <laughs> oh, dahil ang beat niya Manila, nakatambay siya palagi sa Manila, sa bahay ko, dun sa Sikia. At nung bagong lipat ako dito, dito. dyan oh. sa ibaba ko, di ba? Ay, Ubu dito pa, oo nga, no? Tambay tayo dyan, kakapit tayo. Ay, dyan pa mga ahas. Ah, dyan, ang kompletong ahas dyan. Okay. Ito naman, sasamahan naman natin si Jay, dahil matagal lang hindi nakakapunta sa Malate. Dali natin dun sa pinakapaboritong kapihan ko, dun sa Cafe Adriatico. Uminom tayo ng chocolate eh, at saka ensemada. Meron akong dalang ensemada, ha? Mamaya, yeah, mamaya, oh! Ensemada ng misis mo! <laughs> mamaya, mamaya, mamaya. Kainin natin doon, pwede, papayag yun. <laughs> sa dinami-dami ng mga motor sa koleksyon ko, itong Vespa ang to ang talagang pinaka-importante sa lahat at itong pinakamalapit sa puso ko. At ang una kong naisakay dito ay ang misis ko nung siya'y dalaga pa at nung pinakaunang date namin. So from Malate, tumuloy ako ng Makati, gamit ko yung Vespa at nung nakita ko si Freddy from across the room dun sa restaurant, sabi ko, ito na nga ang pakakasalan kong babae. Oh, that first day that you saw me, I was on a Vespa GS, an old GS Vespa. At first, I thought, <laughs> okay, and eventually, because I was also in high heels that night. Plus, my hair was slicked back, and I had to wear a helmet, so you can imagine mm. how that was. But eventually, I said, okay, I'm up for an adventure, so let's see where this goes. Dito siya unang sumakay. Unang araw ko siya nakilala. Wala akong dalang kotse, ang dala ko Vespa. Sinakay ko siya rito. Did you fall in love with me? Partly because I was on a Vespa compared to your other shooters who had Mercedes Benzes and BMWs and all these expensive cars. <laughs> I thought, okay, this guy is different. Definitely different. So life is going to be an adventure. 
itong Vespang to, talagang lahat ng miyembro ng pamilya ko nakasakay na rito. Si Jose, nung baby pa siya, sinasakay ko dito. Siyempre, maingat dahil baka mahulog. Hanggang nung malaki na siya, as, as late as 6 months ago, bago siya umalis papuntang Boston, nakasakay siya dito at ginagamit namin pang, pagpunta sa restaurant dito sa Malate. Yung mga anak kong babae, si Eliana, si Eman, nasaka, nakasakay na rin dito since baby pa sila, hanggang tumanda na sila. Itong Vespang to, ay naging family car namin, second family car namin. What do you think of Papa's old Vespa? He used to pick Mama up on the first day. Uh, it's cool. It's romantic. Ooh. It's cool. I think it was kind of fun. That... Mm. Yeah. If you're old enough and then someone picks you up on a Vespa on the first date, what would you do? <laughs> I don't know. Probably ride with them. I wouldn't really like... Why? Because they're scary. Vespas are kind of girly, Papa. Huh? Girly? So men are not supposed to ride Vespas? No. I just think they're a bit girly. And the girl is a good thing. You, uh, girly is a good thing? You mean Papa should be a girly? <laughs> Maybe what she's trying to say is my feminine side it has to be balanced with my masculine side. So a good guy has to be feminine and masculine at the same time. <laughs> yeah. You're not allowed to have a boyfriend until you are. 27 and a half years old. <laughs> What's your favorite motorcycle? A Ducati or like a Harley Davidson or something. Do you love Papa? Yes. How much? I'm not gonna do this right now. Aww. No. Bye, Gen Z. <laughs> the Vespa GS is still there. What do you think of it? With all the cars now on the road, I don't want to ride <laughs> any motorcycles. So just admire. I admire it and it's great as a uh, remembrance uh, in our house. This Vespa belongs to the heart of the Atienza family. Ke Feli sa akin, ke Jose, ke Eliana, at ke Eman. I love you. Pwa! <laughs> Nagsimula ang pag-ibig namin dito sa Vespa na to. Let me give you a tour of this Vespa. Makikita natin, kakaiba ang uh, korte nitong Vespa to. Mas matulis ang kanyang puwet, no? Ang Vespa is Italian for wasp o bubuyog. Dahil pag sinilip mo yung puwet nitong Vespa to, talagang korte yung puwet ng bubuyog, no? GS, ang ibig sabihin naman ng GS ay Grand Sport. Because this was the first uh, Vespa that was made na mas mabilis. Ang Vespa kasi during the 50s and during the early 60s, kilala sila bilang mababagal na scooter lamang. Pero pagpasok ng Vespa GS 150 tapos G GS 160 pareho nito, Bumilis ng takbo nila. Isa, dalawa, tatlo. Kung mapapansin natin, napaka-usok niya. Ano? Bakit? Dahil ang style nito, yung tutti oil ay hinahalo yung sa gasolina. 5% ng tutti oil kada isang litro ng gasolina ang hinahalo mo dito. Pag hindi mo ginawa yun, magsisis ang makina, titiri ka at masisira yung motor. So self-mix. Ibig sabihin, manual mix. Hindi pareho ngayon, auto loop o auto mix na ang mga motor. Paano naman kambyohin itong motor na ito? Ang pagkambyo ng uh, Vespa GS na Luma, 1964, ang tawag dito ay grip shift. No? Grip shift, itong clutch niya. Pindot ng clutch. Primera, segunda, tercera, cuarta. Neutral. So, grip shift, no? Ito naman, ang front brake. Itong front brake. At ito naman, ang rear brake. Ang Vespa, sabi nila, pang habang buhay, napakaraming pinagdaanan itong Vespa ito. So, nakarating na tayo sa ABS-CBN It's such a pleasure to be able to ride a piece of sculpture with so much history Napakalalim na pinagdaanan sa buhay ko Itong Vespa GS 160 Maraming maraming salamat sa panonood ninyo Hanggang sa susunod na episode natin Ito po si Kuya Kim Hindi po, hindi rin pangit Sakto lang Kuya Kim Kim Sanlida Opa!